this is your girl, Gold Mouth. I'm coming to you guys today to show you guys what I do to prepare uh, my hair for uh, the relaxer process. So first off, I am going to show you what my hair looks like up under this bonnet. Y'all, go to creations.web.com, period. Don't sleep on me. Um, I only have this one available in the large size, but trust me, you're going to like it. <laughs> Anywho... Um, this is what my hair looking like after y'all seen me in the last video and I was, um, uh, what, what I did, pre pool or whatever. I went ahead and washed my hair and I blow dried it out. Um, thanks to the magic of time or whatever. Well, I, no, never mind, because I was going to say it done been longer than what it was, but no, it wasn't. That was actually that same day. So this is what my hair looks like after... Um, shampooing it after, after I did the, the pre or whatever. So, um, I, I, I shampooed it, and then I blow-dried it, and, yes, I blow-dried it. I haven't blow-dried my hair in a while, but this is what my hair looks, is looking like right now. Okay. And, y'all, I did check my calendar. I am 20 weeks post, y'all. Y'all know in the last video I kept saying I was 13, 14, 15 week, weeks post. But I checked my calendar. I'm 20 weeks post. I didn't know I had waited that long. Um, but I knew I was, I knew it was, I knew it was long. But y'all can see the thickness in the roots right here. Y'all you know? can see all of that thickness. Um, and that is what my hair is looking like. Let me show y'all from the back, because I know people be like, turn around, let me see the back. Okay, so, let me put it to the back for y'all. This is what it looked like on the side. to be cut. Y'all see that Lynn? Y'all don't play with me. <laughs> Vaseline, petroleum jelly, you know what it is. Okay, so I just take off. I always get me a, a, a full jar. Even when this one ain't all the way full. I, I dug in this one the last time. But it's basically full. And I pop my hair in my four sections. My four sections, y'all. Oh, FYI for the people who've been following me for a longer time. Um, or may have heard me say that I was tech slacks. I no longer tech slacks. I am not tech slacks. I am fully relaxed. But I stretch my relaxer um, until the point of, you know, I have to, you know, it's time to relax. I just keep my hair in a protective style or whatever to it's time to relax again i used to be tech slacks when i used to just put my relaxer in for a little while and i didn't smooth it through the, all that good and all of that stuff so that way when i when i got through with my relaxer my hair pretty much looks something like this but y'all this right here be it's too much for me to for me right here i don't i don't know how to explain it but it's if you relax it's it's it I don't know, but I'm relaxed, child. How about that? Okay, so, which means, which just means I'm, my hair is a little bit straighter than text slacks. Now, if I was text slacks, this would be my my go-to texture right here. But, being as though that I blow-dried this the other day, um, it's, it, look, it appears to be, like, straighter, but baby... Woo, it's straighter, but for me to have relaxed hair, it's, it's still, like, kinky in my roots a lot. So, anyhow, child, y'all know what I'm trying to say. 20 weeks post-relaxer. So, all I'm going to do here is take my hair and part. Y'all see it? Let me show y'all the, 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 see the grays? Y'all see that golden type color right here? Um, when I was in Florida, baby... I got a lot of sun, a lot of sunshine, and the hair color that I use, I used the wrong one. I used the brown one, which is 
which is the Clairol Beautiful Collections. No, not Beautiful Collection. It's just a regular Clairol semi-permanent color. And um, it don't do good in my hair. It's, I need the, the, the one that's semi-permanent color for the advanced gray solutions. I did a video on it a long time ago. But this one is the one that I normally use. Advanced gray solutions. And... Um, the when I was in Florida at my grandma's house, I I was I was thinking like did the did the um did the uh color change names and me I got the brown one. It's brown like this all over the bottle, but it's not good for gray hair, baby. It don't do nothing, nothing, nothing. When I tell you nothing, when I dyed my hair, waited all that time for my hair to take, and it didn't even take child. My gray was still gray when I got through. If it was a little, it took a little tin and it probably lasted for about a day or two. Y'all see the hair? Y'all see the length? Y'all see them inches? I bet y'all thought the other day when, when I was um putting that conditioner in it, whoa, oh, hair so thin. It just look like that when it's wet, baby. But, ooh, look at it. Y'all see it? I can't make this up. <laughs> um, So I just take this grease and grease all of my whole scalp, honey, all the way around. Four sections, just like I'm going to put my relaxer in, but this just prepping for the relaxer. Um, I'm going to put it in real soon. Um, so, I'm just going to section this hair off. Ugh. Oh my goodness, and I'm going to do each little section, put grease in it, grease my scalp, and... Wait to maybe like a day or two days and let it marinate or whatever. Ooh, shucks. I think I got them clips in there too tight. This the grease, okay? This grease. Grease. You call it what you call it. Grease. Vaseline, petroleum, jelly. I just take my hand and put it like this, okay? Just like that. Just like grab the glob and I go through. Okay, I just go uh, all the way around the, the the box that I just made, all the way around, and then I go in to the section. But child, this is what I do before I put my relaxer in. I make sure I grease my scalp good. They do have like scalp base in the box that the, you know what I'm saying, that the relaxer come in. I'm going to show y'all what kind of relaxer I'm going to use too. Hold on. I've been using this relaxer for about for about five years now. I've been using this same relaxer. I have never switched within five years. I have not switched. Prior to five years, I did used to use Dark and Lovely all the time. But Dark and Lovely had added, um, I don't know if they still got it in there, but they had added, added some like a little keratin, a little keratin packet or something. And they um relaxer that made my hair straighter and I didn't like that. And at the time I was text lax too, so shoot care to my no, I'm gonna stick with optimum. <laughs> Anyhow, I just grease all around that. And I also grease the hair too. Also grease the hair too. My hair is not below my boob yet. That's my goal, boy. It's a lot. Of, when I tell you, it's a, it's a, it's a, it, it's a, it's a lot of hard work to get your hair to grow. Well, get my hair to grow. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through, party with my fingers. I ain't gonna worry about snatching the comb through there and all that. Cause we already know. Is kinky up in these hair ruts. It's been 20 weeks post. I grease my scalp first. Okay. Only my scalp. Then. I spray the S-curl spray. Okay. I drench it. Close to drench anyway. So I already did that off camera. And once I spray the S-curl spray. Before. Listen now. Before I put the grease on the remaining section of my hair. That's, that I don't want. Um, no relaxer to, you know, to take on to my previously relaxed hair, okay, which is my straight hair. Um, I pull it before I put the grease on it, okay, 
before I put the grease on this, I pull it. So that way, y'all can see that. Look at that. It's like right there. I pull it and then I let it go. Now you see that? Right there. So from here down, from here all the way down is where I put the grease at. That's why I pull it. So I wet it so I know where to put the grease at. I don't put the grease on the actual hair here. Even though some grease going to get on the hair, but I don't intentionally put it put the grease on that section of the new growth because that's all going to be relaxed, okay? Even though there is some grease on there, I'm not going to intentionally apply grease to the actual um, hair shaft at, at, that, at the new growth, okay? So that way I know where to put my grease at, y'all. That's the whole point of me doing that, so I know where to put my grease at, okay? And as you can see, look, I slather it on there, for real. I know y'all probably say it ain't necessary, but this is what Go Mouth do. Y'all want to see more hair videos? This is what I do, okay? This is what I do. I ain't trying to tell y'all what to do, but this is what I do now. Okay? So now, as you can see, it's good and greased. You see that? It's so greasy, it's stuck together. Okay, I can write with it. I don't made an ink pen. <laughs> so... All I do now is I take this section, split it in two, and I twist it up. Okay, y'all can see that? That new growth? That's a lot of new growth in there. I don't, I don't got sidetracked. Anyway, I take these two and I twist them up. And that's what I did to all four sections of my hair. And I'm just going to leave them like that, clip them up. Let them marinate overnight or whatever. Let them bake in, you know, in the oven at 365 degrees. I'm just playing. But I'm going to let them marinate now. For real, I'm going to let them marinate. And, um, this is what it all looks like when I'm completely done twisting my hair up. This is what it looks like. All ready for relaxer. Might be a lot of grease to y'all. So on relaxer day, I'm going to put like grease on my ears and behind my ears. And I do like my all around my edges again. Even though I already did them, but I do them again before I relax my hair. Probably like an hour an hour before I relax my hair. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pin it up. Pin it up. Look to the top. Okay. Not tight at all. Just enough to make it stay. Actually, I ain't going to even put that on now. I'm just going to leave it like that. And then, I'm just leave it like that. I ain't going to put the clip in just, just in case. And then I'm going to cover it with my bunny. Hey, like that, dog. Like that, dog. And then, guess what I'm going to do? Go to bed, <laughs> go to bed, take me a shower and go to bed. And that is it, y'all. That is how I prepare my hair for relaxer day, okay? How I base my scalp and how I protect my previously relaxed ends. And that is it, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. y'all got any questions or comments, leave them down below. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.